Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on May the 15th, 2016. The title of the message is, Get Out of Debt. And the Lord Jesus began, I am your rest, my children. Do not look for relief elsewhere. True rest is found only in me. Many seek rest from other sources, especially through acquiring more wealth. But truly I tell you, there is no rest in wealth. Rest is found only in me. In fact, those who have great wealth stay up at night worrying about their wealth, wondering if it is safe, how long it will last, and thinking of other ways to acquire more wealth. Others look for places to hide it from thieves and robbers. Those who are wealthy apart from me, who do not trust me with their wealth, are in a constant state of panic for there is no safe haven for wealth on the earth except to put it in my hands. Therefore, my children, do not think that if you had more money, you will find rest for your souls. You only have to look at the misery of the Hollywood elite to realize that truly there is no peace, rest, or safety in wealth. Trust me, rest in me, be content with what you have, and as your soul prospers in me, and as you focus on me and my kingdom, I will add to you what you are capable of carrying without falling into the sin and corruption that wealth can bring into your life. I am your rest. Come to me when the bill collectors are constantly calling on you. Come, and I will show you a way out of your debt. Beloved, it is not and never has been my desire that any of my children be in debt to anyone else. Why? Because you become a slave to the one you owe. My children are not slaves to anyone. You were bought at a precious price. My blood purchased your soul. Therefore, do not become slaves to men. I will repeat this. I never intended for any, and I mean any of my children, to be in debt to another. That is not my will for you. Therefore, do what you must do to get out of debt. If you do not know what to do, come and ask me, and I will show you what to do. I want you out of debt. You are free men and free women. Do not submit yourselves to the bondage that debt brings. Get out of debt now. I still desire that you find rest in me, even though you are in debt. Come to me, rest your weary head on my shoulder, and let me help you come out of debt. The first thing you must learn is to tithe and give, then live within your means. Be content with what you have. Do your best to save for a rainy day. Please, my children, do not overwork yourself in order to acquire wealth. You will not only end up stressed out and even sick, but you will be too tired to spend time with me and in my word. Remember, whatever draws your attention from me and my word could end up being an idol in your life. It is important to find balance in your life. Be diligent and use wisdom when you go out to shop. The wise know how to save. Take advantage of coupons and sales. Always make a shopping list and stick to your budget. To avoid impulse buying, always set aside a little portion of your budget to buy gifts or to treat yourself once in a while. Use your money wisely. There is no harm in taking vacations as long as you can afford them. The goal is to live within your means, plan for emergencies, and stay out of debt while enjoying this life that I have blessed you with. Remember to also be a blessing to those in need. Whatever is in your power to do for the needy, do it, for these are gifts that you offer up to me. Whenever you take care of the needy among you, you are in essence offering up to me the gift of charity, and I will accept all these gifts, and to you a reward awaits in my father's house. You do not have to give money if you do not have it. Give of yourself and of your time. Volunteer. All gifts, whether monetary or of self or of gently used goods, are equally important and equally appreciated. I appreciate all that you do for those among you who are in great need. Remember, though you are serving them, you are ultimately serving me. Come to me, my loved ones. Come and rest in me, and let me show you how to be a blessing to others who need help. I love you. Remain in me. Rest in me. Find your peace in me. I love you now and always. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.